Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game, possibly four. We have Javante Tank Davis, that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore, the three division world champ. We all know the hottest star in the game. We have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champ, Mr. Beaner himself. Then we have Shakur Stevenson. We all know Shakur is a two division world champion, looking to be a three division world champion. But Floyd Money Mayweather is training. Javante Tank Davis Ops. We see him right here working with Shakur Stevenson. Now, we all know he was supposed to um, sign Shakur Stevenson at once upon a time, but Shakur came out and blasted him because he didn't make it happen and he ended up going to top rank. Now, we see him right here training Keyshawn Davis as well. We know Keyshawn Davis is also with top rank at the moment, bro. Right? But we know Tank has been going back and forth with Shakur and Keyshawn. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth with both of them, along with Terrence Bud Crawford. You feel me? And now we see Floyd right here in the ring with Keyshawn and um, Shakur Stevenson, man. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, Floyd, I ain't going to say uh, him and Tank got a bad situation going on. But, you know, he was trying to fix the situation that was going on with him and Javante Tank Davis. And uh, I don't know how Tank going to feel about this, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how Tank going to feel about this. Floyd working with these boys out there in Vegas and shit like that, you know, sharpening their skills up, um, especially when um, Shakur right now is in his weight class and Keyshawn Davis is in his weight class. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all know Tank don't be bullshitting around. Tank is, this dude right here is solid. Either you're with him or you're not. Either you're with him or you're not. Ain't no ends, ain't no in-betweens, ain't no closelies, ain't none of that. Either you in or your ass is locked outside that door. That's Devontae Tank Davis' whole motto, baby. He don't play no games with nobody. He ain't cut no corners. He ain't on no bullshit. And he let it be known right off the back. Right off the back. You feel me? So when we're looking at Tank, I wonder how Tank going to feel about this. You dig? And that's why I tell people Tank call his own shots. Tank is his own boss. Shouts out to them Baltimore killers, man. Calvin Ford, Coach Kenny, Squeeze, you know, senior over there on the on the Rise Podcast. Y'all go check out the Rise Podcast, man. Javante Tank Davis calling his own shots, and this is the reason why, bro. Because he ain't playing no games with nobody, man. He ain't got time to be looking this way, looking that way, looking over his shoulder, wondering if this cat ride with me a hundred, uh, wondering if this cat ride with me a hundred. He know his circle. He know his circle. And that fucking door is locked. Because Coach Kenny ain't going to be helping no motherfucker out when it comes to Javante Tank Davis, nor with Coach Calvin Ford. Now, when come to Floyd Money Mayweather, we all know Floyd's still pissed off that Tank is not with the money team. No more. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You understand? But he have to deal with it. He have to. Because Tank is the hottest fucking star in the game. Tank is the face of boxing. Arguably the face because Canelo is still right there. But he's arguably the face of boxing. And Floyd knew that that kid was going to be the face of boxing. He knew he had that aura. He knew he had that it factor. So when Tank ended up leaving Floyd, he was pissed off. They stayed in tour too much. Floyd didn't want to listen to what Tank wanted. He always wanted to make it do what he wanted to do because he felt like he had the blueprint to get a billion dollars in this sport because he made a billion dollars. But Joe ain't everybody else way. You understand? Especially when you're working for the fighter, Floyd. And you know Tank is a bad motherfucker, Floyd. And you know Tank don't take no for an ass and he ain't playing no games. What he want is what he want. If you can't give it to me, get the fuck out of my way. Straight like that. And I'm rocking with that gorilla to the end. You dig? So with Floyd Mayweather doing that type of shit, you know, Tank will be looking at him like, you know what, keep on working with them cats. Because I'm going to knock both of their ass out. I'm going to put both of them on their ass. You understand what I'm saying? And I believe um, Tank do knock out Shakur. And I believe Tank do knock out Keyshawn Davis if he had to get into the ring with both of them. I think Shakur is his toughest opponent, but I still think Tank knock him out. You understand what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at this situation, bro, I'm like, ooh, Floyd working with the ops. Floyd working with the ops. Now, y'all know I'm a Shakur Stevens fan and I'm a Keyshawn Davis fan. But when it comes to Tank... Um, Tank looking at that shit like, man, they in my weight class, bro. They got their own motherfucking trainers. If you saying you rocking with me, then rock with me. You feel me? If you rocking with me, then rock with me. If they in your gym, let them hit the bad to miss. Let them bring their trainers out there. What you in the ring, hit, hold, and miss working out with them for, bro? What's going on? Why are you talking about we just getting started? Why are you talking about, ooh, we and all this shit? What, what, what you doing, champ? You feel me? Are you against me? Because you can't be with me. You can't be with me. Straight like that, bro. And like I say, man, I want to see this Tank and Shakur fight take place. 
I don't know if it's going to happen no time soon because we know Bob Erm. He said certain things about Tank. He got his, you know, his, his stable over there that he's working with. He still got uh, Lomachenko over there for Shakur Stevenson. He got other fighters over there, Jermaine um, Ortiz. He got fighters over there that, that Shakur can fight to build his name up off of. Now, if Devin vacate them titles, then Shakur will most definitely become a champion because, you know, Bob got his hands on the WBO. I don't know if Tank even give a fuck about the belts right now because he's just a nigga. He can do what he want to do, belts and no belts. You know what I'm saying? He bringing in all the money. He got the motherfucking um, the star power and the pay-per-view um, power. You know what I mean? So Tank can move how he want to move. He the boss. You feel me? And Shakur, he want the fight, but he understand it as well that Floyd is the, I mean, sorry, that Tank is the Floyd Mayweather right now. You understand? So, you know, if this fight was to take place, um, how would Floyd look at it? You see what I'm saying? Who Floyd riding with? Who you riding with, Floyd? Huh? You helping these boys out? You know, Tank ain't playing with these boys. None of them. None of them. Period. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, man, um, it's going to come down to, to him picking his side. And like I say, Tank, he watch everything, and Tank don't give a damn. Once he see you against him, that's that. That's that, bro. Period. Stay on that side. Ain't no coming back. Ain't no coming back. You dig what I'm saying? Now, we all know they used to be cool, right? Tank, Shakur, Dev, they all used to be cool, bro. But as they grow, they get older, shit get real. Because you, you, you trying to take what's off my plate, you trying to take my thunder. You trying to take my thunder. You feel me? You trying to stop my train and derail my shit. And I can't have that, partner. Period. I know a lot of people say, well, if we homeboys, we're going to make a lot of money together. Yeah, that's true. But also, if we homeboys, we go know when to step in and know when not to step in. We're going to know what to say and what not to say. You dig what I'm saying? So right now, Tank looking at it like all oh, you boys fool to me. Y'all heard what he said in his interview before he whooped Ryan Garcia ass. You heard what he said. All these boys fool to me. It ain't about the money, right? Listen to what Tank had to say, ladies and gentlemen. So as y'all can see right here, he's calling Shakur Stevenson a man eater, right? They right there, they hugging and things of that nature. And then Shakur came back and said he waited until he get two fights lined up to start talking crazy. If he believed that like just told him to fight me then and we'll be real we we'll, and be real about sparring. If you're gonna come up here, tell them you learned so much from sparring me. You wanted to spar with me and everything. You know what I mean? And then Tank came back and said, you know, um niggas get a little recognition off of, off their fight and really forget who's running shit. So these boys went back and forth on Twitter, letting it be known that they don't like each other, that they got beef with one another. You feel me? And they put it out there, bro. They put it out there. So I guess Floyd felt like, look, that's between y'all little dudes. Um, y'all handle y'all business when y'all can handle y'all business. Um, I was going to sign Shakur Stevenson before I, I signed Tank. Or I don't know if he had Tank signed before he was going to sign Shakur, things of that nature, however it went. But, you know, he's supposed to sign Shakur as well, but it didn't happen. And we all know why Shakur said he didn't want to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Say so he was waiting on him and shit like that. Then, you know, he never came to sign him. After he told him he was going to sign him. So Shakur said he couldn't keep wait, and he went to sign with Bob Byrne. And now he's a two-division world champion, looking to be a three-division world champion at 135 pounds. Wanted to fight Devin the Dream Haney for Undisputed. Devin didn't want to fight him. He went to 140. Now Tank is the man right there. He won't Tank, but we know that fight ain't going to happen to down the line. But Tank is not playing no games with nobody. Nobody. Tank wants that smoke with everybody. Everybody. You understand? That killer, that gorilla from Baltimore ain't running for nothing. Nothing. You dig? And that's my guy. And he going to hold me down. Straight like that. But at the end of the day, man, Floyd working with Tank Ops. Um, what y'all think about that? I don't think Tank going to like it too much. But we will find out in the future. Straight like that.